Hi, this is Hardik with ENM. Today I will show you how to connect a PLC to RFID reader. Typically, you would use a third-party RFID configuration and setup tool. You will need to set up communication protocol, map I.O., configure correct I.O. addresses on both RFID and PLC, and often there is no diagnostic tool to pinpoint errors. All this means is that it could take a couple of days to set up and test the RFID system. With Siemens, it's all integrated into one single package, RFID, PLC, and HMI. No communication protocols to set up, no mapping, and built-in diagnostic is included. The result is that you can set up and test your project in minutes rather than days. What makes it even more unique is that the RFID programming is also done in ladder logic within TIA portal, and the RFID blocks can be downloaded from Siemens support site. For a simple RFID project, all you need to do is parameterize three blocks. One for resetting the reader, second one for reading data, and the third one to write data. All complex programming is taken care in the background for you. To parameterize the block, all we need to do is to define an execute bit when we want to execute each block. The second thing is hardware connection. We can simply point it to our reader one data connection data, which is reader1data.connect. The next option is how many bytes of data do we want to send and receive? So as you can see, I've defined four here for length underscore data. That means we are reading four bytes of data and the same thing, we are writing four bytes of data to the tag. The last thing we need to do is point it from where the data is being read and written down inside the PLC. So we can use the same DB Reader one data dot read data and for writing data we point it to dot write data. Also you can see on the right side there are way more options available, but they are all with three dots, which means they are not mandatory to be defined to compile the blocks correctly and execute the blocks. So we can leave that without assigning any parameters to those blocks. Also, if you notice, there is error codes on each of the block. So each of the block can give us specific errors for diagnostic. Also, there is RFID diagnostic tool, which is very user friendly and we can scan and read multiple tags, see various trends along with the tag power and interferences in our RFID system, if any. Let's look at the actual hardware demo that I have here. Here is the RFID module, here is the PLC, and if you notice the RFID module is snapped directly into the PLC. Here is a 300 series RFID reader and here is a basic panel HMI. What we'll be using today is a 200 series reader. There are various different styles of reader available from Siemens for both HF and UHF. Here are two different tags and I'll just place those tags right there. And if you notice, we are reading four bytes of information and we can write four bytes of information or data to the internal memory of these tags. Let's go ahead and simply point our RFID reader to the first tag. If you notice, it is reading 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If I point it to the second tag, it is reading all 7777. So, as you notice, we can read the data and we can also write the data. So let's say if I want to write, instead of all 777s, I want to write all 9999. I can simply enter whatever text I want to write to the internal memory of the tag. Click on write data to the tag and disable the write bit and you can see now it is reading 9999 and this one is reading 1234-5678. So here is a simple RFID project that I got working in a few minutes. Again, this is Hardik from ENM showing you how to set up a PLC RFID project in minutes rather than days. And feel free to contact us at 866-MY-ENM. That is 866-693-2636. Thank you.